I'm Sarah from the upcoming Such a Pleasure to be able to speak to you both. Great Could you to meet you start too. by introducing yourselves and telling us a bit about your role in the film? Well, I'll introduce you. This is uh, my beautiful co star, Alexander Lincoln. I remember my name now. This is Alexander King. Um, he's playing Lauren, and I am, of course, Mark. And uh, yeah, that's, that's us. And for people who don't know anything about this film, can you give us a bit of a glimpse of what they can expect? What, what, what can they expect if they go and watch this at the cinema? What can they expect? Um, put simply, they can expect a full contact love story. <laughs> oh, oh! Wow, he's rehearsed that one. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, I mean, there's the log line right there. That's perfect. Um, yeah, that, that, that's the right. Obviously, we've seen a lot of sports dramas, but maybe not that many about rugby and maybe not about this kind of story. So, what was the appeal for both of you to be involved, involved with the project? Um, well, yeah, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll start. Go for it. Um, I mean, I, I think ultimately, as an actor, you're always looking for a, a script that really resonates. And, and I think the first thing I learned from the side was that it really, really resonated. I didn't read it as Mark in mind at all. It was, it was more about the, the story, about the intimacy, the relationships, and, and, and all that kind of thing. Um, and what was the question again? I was talking about myself. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> and what, what was it? Yeah, actually, uh, now you've thrown me off. The question was, uh, what, uh, what was it? The yeah, what was the appeal? The appeal to the movie. Um, well, the appeal to the movie, well, I guess well, it was, you know, it's unique. It's so, it's, it's wonderfully unique. Um, yeah, rugby, uh, rugby's a huge sport, but of course it's not as mainstream as, as others. And the fact that it was in the setting was about a London-based uh, gay team. Um, yeah, I mean, what's not to like, really? I mean... <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Though it, it is a film that's that's not seen or very seldom seen. I think mean, in like the seemingly seemingly hyper masculine world of rugby, um, and seeing that sort of LGBT thing, uh, sorry, the LGBT plus aspect shine through is, is really good. Yeah, that's I mean that's the great thing about the movie. You know, rugby is deemed a, a masculine macho game, and it is. It's brutal. If you watch, if you watch the Six Nations, wow, look at them. They're monsters, and I wouldn't want to go anywhere near them. Okay. They, they are they are incredible, but every single person is we've all got weaknesses, we've all got vulnerabilities, we've all got fragilities, and of course the movie shows the macho element. Of course it does when they when they play, but off the pitch they're just like everybody in this world. They're saying we're all we're all struggling, we're all fighting our way through, and of course you know the movie shows so, both sides of that so beautifully, and we we you know we hope our, our audiences see that. And um, what was the preparation like, and the actual shooting of it? Was it quite like tough going? Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of it was pretty grueling, um, especially <laughs> on like the really particularly cold days. Um, I mean, we were just saying, you know, we had the rain machine out and, and getting properly muddy a few days. Yeah, there was some there were some uh, icy cold temperatures and yeah. and some rain machines. Yeah. And yeah, at, at times we were uh, between takes, huddling like penguins, wrapped up in thermal blankets, yeah. and yeah. taking turns. You know who went in the middle uh, for the warm and stuff. You know Alex was hogging it like sometimes. Oh yeah, you know, yeah I had to remind him. Share the middle. Um, but nothing was really tough. I mean, I, you know, it was a great. It was fun. And while it was tough, it was fun. And it made it all the more worthwhile. Um, so it was really only some of the, you know, some of the cold temperatures and the rugby sequence perhaps. But it was, it was still an absolute joy oh, yeah. the whole time. And what do you hope people take away from watching it? Because obviously it's got like, you know, a very kind of uplifting uh, tone to it. But, you know, there's a reality there that actually in the sports world, a lot of people aren't able to be honest about who they are. They aren't able to come out. So, yeah. you know, do you think there is a message in there somewhere? I, I hope so. Of course. Yeah, we really hope that's the case. And, that, 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 you know, if, if the movie helped five individuals in the sport like, to come out, that could start a chain reaction. And of course, that would be wonderful. And we'd love that. And we want to see it more. Because we know it's there. And we know it's there. And only because of, let's say, the, the crowds and certain, you know, certain people who really might ruin it. It's not. But it, we know statistically that they are there. And of course, we want them to step out. So that would be one thing. But I think, like, ultimately, we want everybody to realise that we're all one community. Yeah. You know, yeah. there's nothing that differentiates us really, other than absolutely. other than what we're attracted to. Absolutely. And we'd love for people to see that. Yeah. Of course, we would. Absolutely, everyone. And, and, and hopefully, to open up a discussion more about that and inclusivity in sports. And, and as you said, you know, the vast, well, statistically, a lot of people are of the community. And I think. Um, we shouldn't shy away from that. It should be a far more inclusive aspect of sport generally. So that's what that'll be a bonus. I mean, it's not so that's the theme of the movie, but it's certainly, yeah, it's certainly one of one of the one of many. I think the best thing about this film is that it will pose lots of questions um, to the audience. 
but the best thing is it doesn't give it doesn't give the answers. We are presenting questions about morality, about all kinds of different um, things. But ultimately, it's great because we need the, let the audience decide what, what's right and, and what's wrong. Um, we're not preaching, you know. We're not preaching. And how does it feel to have the film here at the BFI Flair? Um, and, and why do you think festivals like this are important? Kind of providing a platform for queer cinema and you know perhaps shining a light on stories that we don't see enough in the mainstream absolutely I mean you hit the nail on the head I mean, it, it's about elevating voices that we don't hear a lot of and, and, and that's that's the purpose of this it's like Flair and it's so important you know that there are stories that have been told for centuries by um, you know certain people and, and I think giving uh, an equality and giving a balance to to film and art generally is, is what we want to sort of yeah, push absolutely yeah I completely agree this industry has a responsibility as a collective as a whole to show every story I mean and I mean everyone from, from every group around the world that is our collective responsibility in this industry so yeah in from the side and, and BFI Flair Festival are wonderfully doing their bit as well and yeah I hope to see loads and loads and loads more of it don't you? <laughs> yes I do <laughs> yeah. can you quickly tell us what you're both going to work on next um, yeah. for me um, I yeah some housework um, yeah got a bit of admin to catch up I don't have a project in the pipeline currently um, myself so I'm yeah I, I, I can't give you anything great. interesting but yeah you're great, you're great. <laughs> Um, well, I, at the moment I'm, I'm doing a little action uh, thriller film, um, which is great fun. I get to play a, a completely posh wanker with a gun, which is great. Um, typecast again, we're going to do. It happens. It happens. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm up to at the moment. Yeah. Amazing. So lovely to chat to you both. Enjoy the evening. Thanks Thank so you. much. You Thanks too. for your time. Thank you. Thank you.